Hello guys, um, today we're going to be looking at a new Linux distro called Chromixium OS. The distro itself is relatively new and it's been made to be a cross machine Chrome OS but based on Ubuntu. It's based on Ubuntu 14.04, so it's based on the long-term release. So it will be updates via Ubuntu for a while. This row itself is available in a stable 32-bit release, and there's also a beta 64-bit, which is not going to be stable for, at the time of this video anyway, another few weeks. But anyway, the distro is aimed at something like Chrome OS where laptops, netbooks and such, even oldish computers, but of course, goes without saying you could run that on newer systems, help them run a little bit smoother and faster. Anyway, the point of this video today is to show you how to install it. Say you've got a netbook, you're not going to have a disk drive or whatever. So, here we go. First off, what you want to do is visit chromixium.org. That's the website of the distro. And on the main page, you'll see the download links for it. We have the 32-bit release and the 64 bit better release so choose whatever one you wish if you do choose the uh, 64 bit better once it becomes stable you will have to reinstall your system for the final release so it's really down to yourself right next what we want to do is download unit boot in that's what we're going to use to install onto the USB because it's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. So decide which one you want depending on your operating system and download it. Next we want to install unit boot in which I won't do so I've already got installed and then you want to open it up I know it's here somewhere there we go you need to boot in if you're on Linux you will have to give it administrator permission so put in your USB drive and what you want to do is make sure it's a clean drive which mine isn't so what first what I shall do is repartition Mine's is not picked up with what I had on it before. Partition your USB to FAT32. And I'm using GPAR for this. Because I am Linux. I don't use Microsoft at all anymore. I haven't done for years. It's always Linux. So we'll quickly run through GPAR there. That's only a small USB. Make sure you've got at least 4 gig on your USB stick. It's always a safe amount. I'll close that down. I 
shell green set my USB stick. Hopefully this works this time. Like the USB stick, which you'll have to do it. It's still not coming up here on that. I do redo this bit. Start again. Hi, hey people, welcome to <coughs> the video. Today, we're going to be looking at a new Linux distro by the name of Chromexium OS. It's li like a crossover between Chrome OS, you know, Google's distro that's based on Gentoo and Ubuntu. Ideally it's for laptops, netbooks, systems with low specs, but of course that doesn't stop you running it on any system at all. So this is based on um, Chrome OS, or Chromium OS as well, which is the uh, open source version. Again, this is open source, and this is based on the basic idea. Of Chrome OS it integrates with um, Google, so you've got your Google apps and whatnot. Comes pre-installed with. Um, Chromium web browser and uh, things for your apps. We're not really going to look into it really, we're just basically going to be looking at installing it today. But a quick look will show you. Let uh, me click on the Chrome app launcher, it shows you all your apps that you can get from your desktop. I've tweaked mine a little bit so it's a little bit different. It uses the Plank Docker. Which is quite a good doc, I'd say. You've got your Gmail, your Google, your Drive, your folders, blah blah blah. It um, uses Openbox as its manager, so it is. It doesn't take a lot of um, system resources to run, which will make your computer run. Oh, a little bit faster, but anyway, back to the point in hand. So, you go to chromexium.org, that is the website for Chromexium OS, and you'll see right at the very top of the page the download links. We have 32 bit final release, which is stable version, and at the moment, there's also a 64 bit release which is currently in beta at the time of this video and stable release would be another few weeks I think but, so choose which release you want to use bearing in mind at the time of this video the 64 bit with it being in beta still when the final stable release is released you will have to reinstall your system so bear that in mind when you're choosing which one to download. So download it. Your system it won't take long. It's about 700 meg, I think, if I remember right. Right, on to the in installation. Because this is based on Chrome OS, it will be mainly used on things like netbooks, which obviously don't come with a DVD drive, so the best option is really is USB flash drive. 
So ensure you have at least four gig flash drive. And what we want to do is visit the unit button web page, which you'll find at unitbutton.sourceforge.net. And uh, we're choosing this because it's available for all platforms, Windows, Linux and Mac. So choose whatever system you use. If you're Linux like myself, you've got Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, SUS, Arch, Gentoo and the source. So you should be covered. So we'll download whatever and install it in your system. We're not going to go through all that for easiness sake and quickness sake so do that and store prepare your pen drive and open up unit button so what we want to do now you've already downloaded the image so select the image from your hard drive from wherever you may have it so we shall find mines I've got a 64 bit downloaded so we'll just open that up so this image ISO blah 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 US pen drive select which one it is I've only got one and click OK and that's it unit boot in it is fairly simple to use so it shouldn't take too long. The fast, the better your system, more memory and whatnot you've got, faster CPU, the quicker it will be done. So I'm currently running this on a netbook which is dual core 1.6 gigahertz with 2 giga RAM. So it's not fast. So we'll see how long it takes. to say about downloads like the this image of from so it's not real bad. we're not talking about gigabytes so why are waiting for this to Unit boot and boots. We can have a quick look at this itself. So, we showed you the Chrome app launcher already, which has all your links to your apps and whatnot. As you can see here, web store, docs, Gmail, Google Drive, YouTube. Oh, your apps. I've got a few apps. I do web design, so most of mine's are web design related. Some games, whatnot, blah blah blah. So come out of that. Right. Normally you have Chromium installed. I've replaced that with Google Chrome, just cause basically built in Flash, Netflix, and whatnot. But there is a tutorial for that, we might cover that in a later video. Um, Gmail, YouTube, Drive and your basic icons on the Planck panel, your files. Everything should work out of the box, like for your drivers or not. And uh, so there shouldn't be any problems. Right, after you've downloaded it, after it's installed, you see that didn't take too long. That's uh, installed on the USB. Now what you want to do is then reboot your system. Make sure you choose to boot from USB, so either do it through your BIOS or F12, F2, whatever your special button is to select your boot device, select your USB and basically what you want to do is go to the live 
option first. That'd be easier. It lets you play around, see if you like it first before you commit to installing it. I'm not going to go through the install process because obviously I can't then record it and I've not got a virtual box or anything set up on this computer yet because, well, I haven't got around to it really. We might add this on at a later date, I'll we'll see. So, reboot it, have a play about. It's basically the same as the Ubuntu installer, so easy to follow. Install it and there you go. Simple. Everything should work right out of the box. And for any tips and tutorials, any problems, visit the Chromexium webpage. They have a forum, they have a wiki, they've got a guide. And the guys on the forum, they're quite friendly. If you have any problems, there will be somebody there to help you out. So give it a shot. Have fun and enjoy.